Hello student, today we are going to discuss about uh, how we find the inverse by LU decomposition methods. So, as we know that there are three popular LU decomposition methods, first one is a Doolittle's method, second one is a Crowd's method and third one is a Cholesky's method. So, we can find the inverse of a matrix by all these three methods. But in a Crowd's method, we assume that the diagonal element of a upper triangular matrix is a 1 and Doolittle's method, we assume that the diagonal element of a lower triangular matrix equal to 1. But in a Cholesky's method, if the matrix A is symmetric as well as positive definite, then we factorize the A as a A equal L into L transpose, then with the help of a uh, using the inverse property, be able to find out a inverse with the help of a Cholesky's method. So, here first of all, we uh, give some theoretical aspect of uh, these methods, means how we find the inverse, then we solve a one numerical example how we find the inverse of a, a matrix using the Doolittle's method. So, let us discuss about a, some very in a brief, very brief a theoretical aspects of a, how we find the inverse of a, any matrix using a decomposition methods. So, as we know that only we able to find out a inverse of a, any matrix if matrix is a matrix A is a non singular matrix. So, here if we assume that let A be a non singular matrix. A be a non singular matrix, non singular matrix, non singular matrix, matrix. Then, how we find the inverse? In a decomposition method, first of all, we decompose the A into a two parts lower triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix. So, here we write A equal L into U, L and U, L be the lower triangular matrix and U be the upper triangular matrix. So, this one is a lower triangular matrix, lower triangular matrix, lower triangular matrix, matrix and U be the upper triangular matrix, upper triangular matrix, triangular matrix. So, to find out the inverse of this matrix here, we find the A inverse. So, as we know that A inverse, this become taking a inverse on a both side, then L u inverse, then using the pr property of a inverse of a matrix. A inverse become, this implies that A inverse become what? U inverse L inverse, U inverse L inverse. So, as earlier we say that, we decompose the matrix as A equal L U by three methods. First one is a what? First one is a decompose the matrix by three methods. We can decompose 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 matrix A matrix A by first one do little's method do little's method Second one is a Crowd's method, Crowd's method and third one is a Cholesky method, Cholesky method. So, what is the difference between Doolittle method and Crowd's methods? In the Doolittle methods, the diagonal elements of a 
only a difference between do little crowds and Cholesky methods. In a do little method, we decompose the matrix A as a L and U, but in a lower triangular matrix, the diagonal elements, diagonal, diagonal element, element of L is 1. And in a crowds method, diagonal element, diagonal, diagonal element, element of u, of u is 1. And only be able to apply the Cholesky method if A is a, A is symmetric symmetric, symmetric and positive definite, positive, positive definite, positive definite. Then in this case, A can be written as A equal L, L transpose, then A inverse equal L, L transpose inverse and this become L transpose inverse into L inverse, L inverse and you may also write using the property of a lower triangular matrix, this become L inverse transpose into L inverse. So, in a Cholesky's method, if A is a symmetric and positive definite, then there is no need to find out a upper triangular matrix, only we find the lower triangular matrix, then we write A equal L into L transpose. So, to find out the A inverse, we find the inverse of a lower triangular matrix and transpose of a inverse of a lower triangular matrix and multiply these two, then we able to find out the A inverse. But in a Doolittle methods, we factorize the A equal L and U, we find the lower triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix. In order to find out the elements of a lower and upper triangular matrix, we assume that the diagonal element of a lower triangular matrix is 1. Once we find the L and U, then we find the A inverse equal U inverse into L inverse. Similarly, in a crowds method, first we factorize the A as a lower triangular matrix and upper triangular matrix in order to find out a unique solution, unique values of a lower and upper triangular matrix. We assume that the diagonal element of a upper triangular matrix is a 1. Then, once we find the values of a L and U, then using the property of a inverse of a matrix means A inverse equal U inverse and L inverse. First we find the L and U, then we find the L inverse and U inverse, then multiply U inverse and L inverse, then be able to find out the value of a A inverse. So, this one is a what? This one is just some uh, a very brief means a description of a how we find a inverse using the Doolittle method, Crowds method and Cholesky's method.